So now I am on Vector Studio. So now let's select the Shape tool, left click, and then select the Ellipse tool. And now in order to create a perfect circle, hold the Shift key down and then create your circle. So here it is, and now I'm going to remove the fill here, so left click here, and then click on this icon. And now I'm going to double click here and then change it to one to have a outline of one point. So left click here, the, the color is black. And now let's select the move tool and now I'm going to center it. So here it is. And now control J to duplicate your layer, your circle here. And now hold the control key and the shift key down and then scale down your layer. This will scale it proportionally. So here it is. And now I'm going to select the big circle and then let's select the small circle again and then control J. And now hold the shift key down and then scale up your layer until it snaps to the right side here. Make sure the snapping is checked if I left click here. So here are the features I checked. Make sure to check the snap to shape key points and snap to object geometry. And now hold shift key down and then scale it up until it snaps here. So here it is, and now I'm going to select the small circle here, and then let's select the medium circle, this one here. So I'm doing this in order to avoid the power duplicate feature. So now control J to duplicate this layer, the medium circle, and now I'm going to move this duplicated layer to the left here until it snaps here, until it snaps to the left side of the big circle. So hold the shift key down while moving your layer to move it on a straight line. So here it is, and now I'm going to select all layers, make sure on the move tool, and then I'm just going to select them all, and now left click here on shape builder, select the shape builder tool, and now I'm going to create my shape, make sure the action is plus here to create a new shape from the selected areas, the drag method is freehand, clean up none, I check the use style from first selected area, and now I'm going to drag over the areas here. I want to combine here. So here it is. So this is my first shape. And now this is my second shape. I'm going to start from here. Like this and then here. So this is my second shape. And now let's select the move tool. And now I'm going to delete some of the layers here. They are not useful. So for example, I'm going to leave only the two first ones here. I'm going to select this one. Scroll down, hold shift key down and then left click on the last one. So this will select all the layers here, selected from top to bottom, from the first to the last, and now just click on the second here to delete. I'm going to move this layer here to the top. So this is our first here, and this is the second. So now I'm going to select this one here, select the fill tool, left click, select fill tool. The context is fill, the type I'm going to change it to linear, and now I'm just going to drag going to left click on this point, I'm going to change it to black, and now I'm going to left click on this one. And this one here, I think I'm going to change it to here like this. And now I'm just going to adjust. So I'm going to leave it like this. And now let's select this layer here, the bottom layer. Select it. I am still on the fill tool. And then just change the type here to linear. And now for this one, I'm going to drag this point here. And then I'm going to change the color to black. And now for this one, I'm going to drag it down here. And then I'm just going to left click on this color here. This is the one we used for this one. And now I'm just going to adjust the colors. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Now let's select the move tool. So now there is a slight black outline here. I'm going to drag over all these shapes here, the two curves here. I'm going to group them. Click on this icon here or on this icon here to group them. So here it is. Now here I can, for example, add the outline i'm going to remove the outline and now there are some gaps here a little bit make sure to select navigator here and then zoom in so there are small gaps here i'm just going to fill them make sure to select all the group left click here on the contour here and now i'm going to change here the radius here to one double click and then press one and then press enter so here it is and now i'm going to zoom out from the navigator here 